Hi, I'm Karen for Expert Village. Now I'm going to place this bead on. I'll take my carrier cords again. Now if they're getting frayed on the bottom, you can either trim them with the scissor. You can trim them with the scissor like that. Or you can take your beeswax and just rub it like that and see how nice and firm you can pinch them together when they have the beeswax on. And then it'll go right in on your bead. Just slide your bead up and again we'll secure the carrier to our table. We'll take our knotter threads and they're just going to come right down like that, wrapped around, and we'll just start right over. Make your regular loop. This knotter comes over the first one, underneath and diagonally through the loop, and just bring that knot right up underneath the bead. We did four knots in between this bead and the big bead, and we're going to continue with that pattern. Here we go. Up and through. Two. Three. Four. Now we're going to add our, our next bead. I'll take the carriers off again. We've already waxed our threads, waxed our cords, pinched them together so we can get it into that hole. And slide the bead up to the knots. Resecure your carriers because it makes it a lot easier to work with. Just go right around the bead. There's a loop up under and through. Take the knot up nice and evenly. And we'll continue on until we get to the end.